Have you ever found yourself tempted to pack your bags and jet off to a foreign country? In this video, I'm heading to Zagreb, Croatia. With no specific plans for the evening, a one chance encounter on the street led to a whirlwind of events. A bar crawl, a Slovakian hen party, and a secret underground rave that lasted till the early hours of the morning. But that's just the beginning. There's so much more to the story. So join me as I head to the city of Zagreb. Oh, yeah, out here. Oh, it's a morning. Lovely, thanks. Pizza for breakfast in park. What more could you ask for? Watching these waves come. Rent a jet signs. Thank you. Bus stops in front of me. Just outside. Do you know, um, a new, like, shop? Normal shop? So after being pointed in the direction of a local shop where I could go and grab some goodies, I went back to catch the bus, ready to continue my adventure. As I take in the rugged coastline, lush greenery and shimmering sea blended together in a kaleidoscope of beauty, I noticed our coach was approaching the water's edge. We boarded a ferry that took us across to Hajansko Moor, a small treat which took me by surprise, but a moment forever captured by my eyes. In Zagreb. I'm keeping an eye on my map as I go, but I think I am still going in the right direction currently. Nice little, looks like it's some sort of solar panel bench, maybe. Is it? It's solar? Yeah, but I don't think it works. It don't work? What, what is it meant to solar? I thought maybe it had a charger or something like that. Yeah, I think it's on the other side. Yeah. Oh, it is, so but it gives you a charger. It's quite I think good, a lot man. of them are broken because of the rain and uh, oh, they've been rained yeah. on and then they just get it's broke. It's smart to put something like this. Yeah. It's yeah. What's your name? Uh, Goran. Go Golan. Goran. Golan. Jamie. 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 Looking for a fun time. Yeah, I go on. In a party hostel. You were. Which is like three tram stations away from here. Okay. It's called Hawaii World Hostel and we have a pop roll tonight. Could 20 come. euros, you got one hour of free beers and cocktails. Yeah. From 8.30 to 9.30. Get free shots, get free entries to the bars and pubs, and shots there. Going this way? We yeah. can talk if you want, man. It, it's going to be a good good party night here tonight. Oh, yeah. What would be your favourite party location here? Well, if you could choose it's one. Party location. Well, it's like a lot of array place, this like mostly Fridays and Saturdays. Yeah? And yeah. What, what's it called, sorry? It's called. <laughs> It's not on Google Maps. It's not on Google Maps, no, but it's, it's underground. Oh, is that a legal one? Yeah, kind of. I mean, it's legal, but... It's not. It's, it's like underground, the then. Oh. I see, I see. Yeah. Pick you up, and we can go together there. Just giving the host a call, because there's a pin at the door, but I haven't been told the pin. Hello. Do you have code? Um, yes, yes. Oh, this is lovely. It's me a little bit. £75, but lovely looking bed, a lovely sofa, and a big old TV. I won't use the TV. Sink section, got a couple hobs, an aircon unit, which is lovely because it does get hot here. Let's have a little look at my bathroom. Nice and compact. Where's the light? Oh, the light is automatic. Very um, new, suave. A nice, man, that looks like a nice shower. I'll be putting links to the apartments that I stay in, so these are like in-person reviews. I'm back out, fresh after a shower. Just basically left the apartment and um, need to work out where it is that I'm gonna be going. I think Captol. Captol is the top of the list for trendy areas in the Zagreb. Heading up the hill at the moment. I don't know what this little road is. But it looks interesting. Fuck it, we go we go down. We go down. So I'm here at Dirty Pig and I got myself the Dirty Pig burger and the chips. Um, couldn't work out what was that food from the menu because it was all written in Croatia. It was a lovely burger anyway. And whilst having a bite, I ended up having a little scroll on Tinder. Next thing I know, the universe provides. Hello, Leah. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Some people I know, they're all like, oh, like, are you just gonna go to somewhere on your own, yeah? 
and like Leah. All I've done is put on my Tinder in traveling across Croatia, currently recording a travel vlog, come say hi. Not even really using it for the whole like dating side of things. It's more just a, uh, a way for me to make contact with people. That's why I'm kind of doing these videos to show people the kindness of the world and like if you put yourself into situations and you just like see what happens generally something will happen it doesn't always work at times you could get left like on your own but what's so bad about that if you think about it you just walk about and do what you're doing anyway don't you the kindness of people since since i started doing these trips like with the first trip by mania and then now this one and the kindness of random people if you just put yourself out there a little bit um, it's a beautiful thing and it's kind of like it's given me an addiction to doing this kind of thing so I don't think I'm going to be stopping this anytime soon I might have been going on a little personal rant there but I seriously think well that, that's how I seriously feel and part of the reason of me doing these videos is to hopefully inspire other people to do maybe not the same thing but whatever your version might be so it is take two for the whole wide world hostel bar crawl I turned up earlier on the website I swear it said seven o'clock so I had it in my head that it was seven I turned up there at half six trying to be eager and early and the guys like mate it's half eight sort of thing so to be fair came in handy so I've been back to the room, had a nice sleep, refreshed myself and now I'm feeling good again, ready to go. It's looking like it's busy. It's called Rage Cage. It is not called I Wanna Be Your Best Friend Cage. It's not called uh, I Love You So Much I Wanna Hold Your Hand Cage. It's going to get intense in here. I may scream at you, I may call you a cunt, I might call you a shithead. That's the way Australian people tell each other we love each other. No, what everyone's going to do is they're going to take their drink and you're going to, when I tell you to, put about this much liquid into our cups. Now it's okay if you put a little bit and a little bit on top. The idea of this game is you will not have anything left in your hand. You will not have a glass, you will not have a bottle on the table or in your hand. Let's go ahead and fill up these cups, people. Be generous. Don't be shy. Get your bottles and your cups and put them elsewhere. Now a cup is going to become something like this. So it becomes more and more difficult to bounce the ball off the table into the cup. It's going to get really loud, really intense. These cups are going to get less and less and less. This is because this will become this. And someone is going to have to drink this dis dis destruction of concoction before we have our shots before we go outside. Canada wants the fuck up. Okay. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Catch her, catch her, catch her, catch her, catch her! Yeah! First stack. Okay, this goes in and I've got it right here. Tell us your story. 
Both of you, you're both friends? Yeah, we're friends. Uh, we, we have the together. same birthday. Yes. Same we're birthday. Born on the when same is, day. When is your birthday? May 11th. May 11th? Yeah. What's my birthday? Can you guess? September Very close. 13th, our child. May the 2nd. May the 2nd. May the 2nd. What? Oh. We May. are almost, like, we almost know oh. our birthday. What's your name? Anna. Anna, I'm Jamie, so you're both Anna. Yeah, we have the same name. Yes, I'm Jamie. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is it? What is it? Hard Second bar of the bar full tonight. Go sick three, two, one. Melbourne. How long have you been staying here? It's my second night. Second night only. What? Second night in Croatia, or you've been going somewhere inside? In Split first. Yep. And then uh, this is my second night in Zagreb. Right? How long did it take to get from the to here? So the bus is actually quicker than the train, but I got the train. Oh, you got the train? Six and a half hours. Look, I got the bus from Pearl. Six hours. Like, you know, like trains are generally like, they run on time. Yeah. We ran an hour late. So on this train, right, I was then, I met, there was a Croatian girl sat next to me. Yeah. She was from Zagreb. She went to the University of Split. Really nice. She was chatting to her, she was really nice. And then we were sat next to a, a bloke who was Italian. Yeah. Who studied in the Netherlands, and we spoke to him. Really nice again, and we all, all three of us were having a really nice conversation for ages. And some local woman just decided that like we shouldn't be talking on the train. It was oh. it's like you don't talk. And she's like, don't talk. <laughs> she threw a bottle of water over me, and then I was like, okay, whatever. It's quite hot. It's actually quite refreshing. And then, but then she started threatening to do it with her coffee, so I actually had to be quiet. I argued with her a little bit. Like she was like, she was like, don't talk. I was like, where does it say I can't talk? She like called the police. Can you call the police and arrest you, lad? The, the, the Croatian on the train was like lovely. She was, she was like, oh look, hope you don't always get this like in Croatia. Everyone's really nice, I'm sorry yeah. you had to experience this. To be fair mate, how many crackers do you meet on the train in Britain anyway? Like, I, didn't, I, didn't, oh. I didn't hold it against oh, yeah, Croatia. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, so many crackers. Like, yeah, yeah. And, and the English train, I reckon you're going to get more shit than the Croatian train. Oh, that's sure. terrible. Hey, 20 euros, unlimited beer and cocktails from 8 till 8.30 till 9.30. 8.30 till 9.30 I should say. Uh, and then you get a welcome shot at every bar that we go to when you buy your first drink and then you get free entry into the nightclub. Right. But now seriously, banging tour. So far anyway, I've had a brilliant time. And it's been a brilliant way for me to like meet some people yeah, and man. get some what fucking footage. And, yeah, it's All brilliant. Right, you man. jump up on that and everyone's going to follow you. On that? Yeah. Jump up on that? Oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry, you're stuck at FIFA. But, um, Whoa! <laughs> 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 I love you guys. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Canada wants to fucking explore! Yeah. Explore! Yeah. Explore! Doing this whole thing. I am. What are you gonna make a documentary? No, you're fucking not. That was so cool. Fucking <laughs> being filmed unconsensually. Oh. It's fucking cool though. Do you know how much I miss, like, I wish that I filmed all my nights out? Like that is a joke. So literally. you just walk, you just walk on your whole night, just filming, holding the camera. Oh, That's so interesting. But literally, you are going to be. So you're on the vlog. You're coming on the vlog. It's okay. It's okay. I'm detail. on the vlog. She's on the vlog. I'm on the fucking vlog. She's on the vlog. She oh don't need God, cash. Mate. She's need, on the vlog. Cut, you need to cut the bad bits out. Yeah. What's your name? Jamie. Okay. Jamie, how embarrassing if I follow you and you've got like 500 subscribers? Uh, so. How embarrassing is it if I told you? Yeah. At the moment, I have zero subscribers. No, okay. but I am a whole. You're an up and comer. I'm an up and comer. Write your name down. Uh, yeah. Where's your Instagram? I don't think anyone knows who you are. We're an up and comer. He's not actually. Used I'm an up and comer. I'm not famous yet. Thank you. will be. But I will be. Bride to be. Who's the lucky man? All of you. Go. Are you bride to be? Oh my to God, be? that's fucking adorable. What's your name, lovely? Oh, yeah, what's your name? You're all Croatian. Sandria, and what's the man's name? Like, yeah. Vladimir. Vladimir. Uh, Vladimir and Sandria. I wish you a happy life. Thank you. Thank you. Second yeah. time. Oh, this one, you come. Come, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> the sailor. Yeah. Woo! 
Because I know, where do you get this from, right? India. I want to read this for some time. Uh, and he brought it from India. Yeah. God, I fucking love that. Yeah, man. I fucking ah. love that, though. Oh, gang, man. It's all going on. It's all going on tonight. <laughs> We met online. Shout out to Camilla. Country number 39. Country number 39. 39. Oh, So, I have no idea where I am going. I'm in a broken down shopping mall. I've just left the raid. It's about fucking seven o'clock, eight o'clock in the morning. I'm scared to go outside. I, how I go? You how, yeah, how? Where, where, where? This. See, see, see. Koala, koala, koala. Sunlight outside. Ain't no good at all. It's meant to be getting up on a Sunday and I'm meant to be doing some fucking travel. Come here. This one, this one. Tram station. I need to go to Main Town, Main Square. Yeah, yeah. So it's down, it's down. minutes walking. We can take a tram if we're lucky. So can we can we say everything now? You can say anything. And so it's been a pleasure to meet you, that's for sure. That they, they have to they have to know. Yeah. Because they, they don't know they don't know you, it's but it's it's through the screen. So for Only through the screen. I'm yes. telling you I know him from for real. And real he's life. a good guy for sure. And that, you are that, a good that, guy, you are a good guy. You're also, gonna put yeah. this, yeah? I will put this. Yeah, yeah this is sure, yeah. good. So this no, is good. we're this not talking good. about pixel now, we're talking about physics, you know? Physical life. As the morning sun rises over the city of Zagreb, I find myself walking down the road with two strangers I met just hours ago. It's hard to believe that I started this night alone. Reflecting on the wild events of the night, I'm reminded of the incredible possibilities that exist when we simply put ourselves out there. We never know what the universe has in store for us until we take that first step into the unknown. Despite any initial fears or reservations, Taking a risk can lead to some of the most unforgettable experiences of our lives. This night has taught me that the world is beautiful, full of endless opportunities and surprises, just waiting to be discovered. So anyone out there who may be hesitant to take that leap of faith, I urge you to go for it. Embrace the unknown, trust in the universe, and who knows where your journey will take you. Remember, the only regrets we have are the chances we didn't take.